हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट विद द हाउ लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस आईवीटी द अबाउट द आईवीटी डेटा एनालिटिक्स राइट सो हाउ वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट आईवीटी डेटा एनालिटिक्स ओके दिस आई विल डिस्कस टुडे एंड व्हाई वी कैन यूज द इन व्हिच एप्लीकेशन एंड व्हाई इन व्हिच फील्ड वी कैन यूज द आईवीटी डेटा एनालिटिक्स मेनली राइट सो नॉर्मली आईवीटी डेटा एनालिटिक्स सो how can you implement iot data analytics okay so before going to this uh, first i write down the points okay uh, how to implement okay iot data analytics okay first one point is for implementing iot data analytics first point is the data collection okay first one is the data collection so uh, based on the business requirement based on the various business requirement um, various uh, business requirement mainly here i have written the data collection okay so based on various uh, business application uh, you have to implement various sensors in various field okay you have to implement various sensors in various field okay Yeah, different different fields have to implement various sensors, which all are connected, connected in the other part of the IoT. Okay, so that means for implementing the IoT data analytics, the data collection part is the one of the important. You have to connect the various sensor for collecting various kinds of the uh, physical parameter. For collecting various kinds of the physical parameter, you have to implement a uh, various sensor in various locations. Okay. so the lots of data you can collect okay, if you collect the hundred name amount of sensors you can collect the thousands billion amount of the data right so data collection is the one of the important part uh, if we want to implement the iot data analytics okay without data collection we cannot do any data analytics right after, after collecting data after collecting data second part is the data storage so as i told that so billion data you can uh, collect from the various sensor hundred amount of sensors right so where we can store those uh, million billion amount of the data right so in internet uh, there is a cloud okay in cloud you can lots of database are there you can uh, store uh, those data in the cloud okay uh, so uh, Centralize, centralized centralized cloud platform okay centralized cloud platform is there where you can store lots of data in this centralized cloud platform and so, uh, so for uh, further processing okay for further processing also you can easily access those centralized uh, cloud storage okay uh, so for further processing manipulating data visualization so uh, you can easily access this centralized cloud storage okay so here you can store all the lots of amount of data right second and third point is the third point is the data visualization Without any visualization, you cannot do any data analysis. Suppose uh, uh, one point is that uh, in the data collection or data uh, before data storing data uh, and data visualization, data cleaning process is also required. Okay, so what is the uh, you can do data cleaning processing in the data collection process or in the data visualization process. I will tell later what is the data cleaning. So data visualization. So you will have the when once you collect the data from various sensor, you will get a different kinds of the data like structural, unstructural, semi-structural data you will get. Okay. So without any uh, plotting graph, okay, you cannot visually identify or distinguish which is just the uh, structured data which is the unstructured data. Okay, so you need to visualize the those different kinds of the structure, semi-structural, structure and unstructured data. Okay, and for getting the better interpretation and the better understanding. Okay, so uh, if you understand something from the data, you can uh, do some processing or analyzing. 
okay so for the data analytic is required and so before going to the data analytic steps you can um, you have to visualize those data okay once you visualize data suppose unstructured data you have visualized in this unstructured data you need to uh, convert the unstructured data into structured data uh, when, when you want to do some analytic okay uh, so for the data cleaning process is also uh, required data cleaning process uh, so if you have the some noisy data in sensor data you can uh, that in using the data cleaning process you can easily remove those uh, noisy data and unwanted data so data visualization is the one of the for better understanding better understanding plotting the graph data okay so fourth is the main data analytic fourth is the uh, data analytics okay so in this data analytics normally uh, <clears throat> data analysis of what what are the main parts and models are associated with the data analytics okay so prediction something for uh, giving any modified output to the actuator data level is required so for that uh, machine learning model predictive analytic model and statistical analytic those kind of the model are associated models are associated with the data analytic okay uh, machine learning model predictive statistical such can of the models are associated with the uh, data analytics by using those models and algorithm you can predict something you can give some modify output and what would the actual outcome of the uh, this particular IoT device uh, based on the various business requirement okay so this is about the implementation of the IoT data analytics okay when you come to the IoT data after data collection data storage data visualization and the data analytics okay so in this data analytics what are the main tools are available so well, two main tools here i want to discuss one is the cumulosity okay second is the trend miner trend miner okay so in this cumulosity uh, city okay uh, what are the tools are associated in this cumulosity here you can think about the machine learning no, i'm sorry streaming analytic like real time streaming okay real time streaming analytics okay predictive analytics okay and historical and data analytics okay real time streaming analytics um, predictive analytics and the uh, data analytics uh, historical data analytics these three are combined with each other and integrated into the iot data platform for determining some output okay so next is the trend miner trend miner mainly is it is also a uh, software tool with self-service industrial analytic tool okay it is a software platform with self-service analytical tool okay it is mainly used in the smart industry if you want to design the smart industry and the smart uh, city okay this trend miner tool uh, is, is mainly used as a data analytic okay so various uh, engineer okay they have uh, recognized that this is the most powerful most high performance optimization tool okay so by using this and uh, it can easily import the real-time data okay it can easily import the real-time data so that the process engineer can easily give some output for after analyzing those real-time data in the trend miner platform right so these two are the main tools uh, i want to discuss 
for calculating velocity and the trend minor. And which field where you can mainly use? Uh, in various applications, you can use the uh, IoT data analytics platform. Okay, so here I want to discuss two uh, platform. One is the agriculture, and another is the food service. Okay, in agriculture. Agriculture and there is the food service. Okay, so normally in agriculture, crop planning, crop uh, crop formation, uh, agriculture, uh, for different things. Okay, you need, you can use the um, IoT data analytics. Okay, so normally farmer. Okay, what they can do? The farmer they need to. Uh, they identify the what is the best time okay what is the best time to product the uh, for crop production what is the best time for crop production and uh, when we need to supply the water into the agriculture okay so this thing uh, can be identified but after analyzing the IoT data, okay, what can you the IoT data can uh, collect from the uh, agriculture? Okay, one is the quality of moisture, okay, soil moisture and quantity of soil, okay, and associated with the soil, there are the suppose temperature, humidity, rainfall. This thing can be collected, okay, by the sensor. After that, you need to analyze, okay. Uh, so uh, after analyzation, uh, uh, the data analytics mainly help to farmer when they have to supply water to the agricultural best time okay so and without analyzing those moisture data or the soil moisture soil quantity you cannot you cannot easily predict okay when you will rather using rather supplying water continuously okay in the 24 hour you need to easily collect the time when you have to supply the water in the agriculture okay so in agriculture uh, lots of IoT sensor, wireless based transit sensor are also used, and using this, you can <coughs> and without help of the data analytic tool, you can easily collect okay the time and information. Next is the uh, food service okay. In case of the food service, so uh, for suppose restaurant and bar. Uh, right so the manager it is very helpful for manager uh, because manager can easily identify uh, their catalog details and the billing information uh, by using the data analytic tool so one uh, um, bar company they have used a wireless sensor network okay bar company they have used wireless sensor network in the bar company Use wireless sensor network. For monitoring the quantity of the bar, okay. For monitoring the quantity of bar, uh, how much bar is the purchased or sale, uh, this thing and the purchase details, everything they can monitor. So uh, after monitoring those bar uh, flow of the bar, uh, they can uh, analyze those data. And after analyzing those data, uh, which, what is the which amount, what kind of the bar is most selling product? And yes, and which item need to be purchased? Okay, so after analyzing those uh, quantity data, bar related data, so manager can easily identify which item need to be purchase, uh, purchased again and which is the most selling product. Okay, so related to this in various locations in industry, uh, you can use the IoT data, data analytics, right? So mainly why, uh, what is the importance of the IoT data analytics? So if you want to uh, take any decision, okay, after processing that, so uh, and for processing data, if you want to take any decision, uh, uh, data analytic tool is required. Without data analytic tool, after visualizing data, you need to process the data. Okay, but the help of the predictive to analytic, historical data analytic, and the live streaming data analytic, you can uh, identify some output. Okay, you can identify some output and you can give some uh, future outcome. Okay, by using the data analytic tools. Right, so uh, this is about the IT, IoT data analytic. So, in the upcoming lecture, I'll start with the um, component of the hardware part and the, uh, what are the hardware and software parts of the IoT. In coming lecture, I'll uh, cover these topics. Thank you, and please like, share, and subscribe my channel.